Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in Unit 7, Lesson 3, Part 7. It says we have taken our code for complimenting people and turned it into an app. It tells us to read the code. Complete the update screen function following the instructions in the comments of the code. When it works, the user should see a random greeting and compliment when their name is entered into the app and they click the compliment button. It then tells us to add comments to the random compliment function. Use the format shown below. We've kind of already looked at this in a previous lesson. Just briefly looking at this, we can see that when a name is typed here and compliment is clicked, the update screen function runs. And that's the part of the app that we're looking to build. We need to pull in what's going on in the random greeting function and in the random compliment function. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and grab the name that's input into the app. So we're going to go to the variables part of the toolbox and we're going to create a local variable. We're going to need to call this name. We're then going to go ahead and get the text. So if we go to UI controls and drag in get text, the ID is going to be name input. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that variable that we just got and we need to put that in with a random greeting and with a random compliment. And we see that in the notes here. It also gives us a hint when both are called with the user's name passed through the parameters. To do this, we're going to go back to variables and we're going to create another variable. We'll call this variable string output because this is going to be put into the app. Well, what are we going to make this? Well, if we look to the app here at the top, we're going to have this statement made. Most of the work is done for us within these two functions above. The only thing we need to add is a space after we get that name and maybe a return. So if we go here to this section, we're going to go to map and we're going to drag in some addition. And we're going to use this to concatenate our list. And I'm going to end up removing these parentheses at the end. Within this, we want to go to our functions and we're going to drag in our two function calls. Let me go ahead and click show text to get rid of those parentheses so it doesn't mess us up. The first function is going to be our random greeting and we want to make sure that we're passing this name into the function. So I've pasted that. If I hit tab on my keyboard, it actually brings me into those parentheses and I can type. The other statement that we want is the random complement. So I'm going to copy and paste that in. And again, we're passing the name. Now the thing that we need to look at is this section right here. We're going to do I'm just going to add a return so it separates the two lines. The final thing that we need to do is we need to take all of this that we've gotten from the different functions and now we need to display that on the screen. So if I go to UI controls, I go to set property. This section, the ID is output. What we're going to set is text. And what we want to do is we're going to bring in this variable. So I'm just going to copy and paste that here. Let's go ahead and run our app. So when I put that in, it took my name and it brought it in the app. We see a greeting and we see a compliment. I added a return there. Maybe a space would have been better just because of the font size here. It kind of pushed some things down. The final thing that you want to do as you are closing out this app is using these guided comments to comment out the random compliment function. I'm not going to actually do that in this video. I'm going to have you do that just so that you can practice explaining out how the code works. But when you're done with commenting out your function, make sure you click finish.